Hi guys, welcome back to Topple with Yuva. Today we talk about two question types that can appear in Topple listening and I tell you strategies on how to solve them. First, I tell you a trick how you can solve detail questions and after that I explain how you can solve main idea questions. By the way, if you want to get more tips for the TOEFL and download templates, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next video. Let's get started. Let's start with detail questions. For example, detail questions can look like this. According to the professor, why is this theory problematic? Or what does the student think about the professor's idea? As you can see, detailed questions ask you about key facts in the listening. They ask you things like what is happening or how is this done or why is this like that? Now let's have a look at the strategy that you can use to solve detailed questions. You have to listen for the right things. The problem with detail questions is that they ask you about a very specific key fact in the listening. And the thing is that you will listen to a lot of details in the listening and you have to filter out the important information that you need in order to answer this question correctly. Fortunately, there is a trick that you can use to filter out the important information in TOEFL listening. And if you know this trick, you will know exactly what you need to focus on when you go into the listening section. As you just saw in the example, detail questions ask you about the what and the why and the how. And the trick is that when you go into TOEFL listening, you already know that you will be asked these kinds of questions. So what do you have to do? When you start the listening section, you will listen to conversations and lectures. Let's take the lecture as an example. Usually in a lecture, a professor explains different theories or concepts. And it may be that he explains these theories in detail or that he explains why a theory is valid and why another theory can't be true. And this is the information you need to focus on. Whenever the speaker in the listening states facts about something, explains why something is like that or explains why something cannot be true or why something is true, you have to focus on these points. So when you go into TOEFL listening and you listen to these kinds of points, immediately remember, okay, oh, this could be a detailed question later, so I will take notes of that. Let's go on with main idea questions. For example, main idea questions can look like this. What do the professor and student mainly talk about? Or what is the lecture mainly about? These questions ask you about the main idea of the listening. What is the strategy that you can use for main idea question? The strategy is get the big picture. I'm now going to tell you how you can do that. Let's first have a look at conversations. If you are asked about the main idea of a conversation, this can be quite tricky because usually a conversation contains several points. So the professor and the student are not only talking about one point, they are talking about several things throughout the conversation. And the idea behind that is that the examiner wants to confuse you. They want to check whether you understand, okay, this is a main point. It's a big point in the conversation. This is what the conversation is actually about. And this is a side point. It's a small point. It's something they talk about in the conversation, but it's not the big thing. And there may also be another side point. In fact, the student and the professor may talk about 
several small topics, but they are always talking about one big topic. I want to give you an example. For example, it may be that a student goes to see the professor because he wants to take part in a project and he wants to ask the professor whether this is possible and how he can apply. And now imagine that the professor and the student are talking about this project and then suddenly in the middle of the conversation the professor says Oh, I just remember, I already graded your essay from last week. Do you want to take it with you now? And perhaps the student talks a bit about this essay and says, okay, I found the task rather difficult. Will the next essay also be that difficult? And then they talk a bit about that. But nevertheless, this is not the main idea of the conversation. Rather, the main idea of this conversation is that the student wants to take part in a project and he asks the professor how he can participate and they talk about this project. So you have to understand the big picture. The conversation is the big picture and you have to see, okay, in this picture, this is the main point. It takes up a lot of space in this picture. That's what they are mainly talking about. And then there is a small side point and another small side point. And these side points are sprinkled throughout the picture, but they are not essential in this picture. Let's go on with lectures. In lectures, you use exactly the same strategy. You have to get an idea of the big picture of the lecture. And then you have to figure out which is the main point in this picture and which points are only small points. Answering a main idea question for a lecture can be quite hard. And there is a really big mistake you can make, guys. If you make this mistake, you can't answer the question correctly. That's why you have to pay a lot of attention now. In TOEFL listening, the professor usually starts the lecture by introducing the topic. So he says, today we are going to talk about, and he mentions the topic. And the big mistake you can make here is that you think, okay, this topic is the main idea of the lecture because in most cases, it's not. Pay attention here. What you need to do is you need to wait until the end of the lecture. Only when you have listened to the whole lecture, you can look back and think about, okay, what was the professor talking about? What is the main idea of the lecture? Only then can you have the big picture. Let's do an example together. For example, imagine that the professor starts his lecture by saying, today we are going to talk about astrophysics. And then he introduces a specific theory in astrophysics. And then he introduces another theory. And after that, he explains reasons for why the first theory may be valid or not. And after that, he states reasons why the second theory may be valid or not. So you have to ask yourself now, is the main idea of the lecture astrophysics? In this example, it's not. If the professor spends most of the time of the lecture talking about why they may be valid or not, the main idea is not astrophysics. Astrophysics is the context. Of course, all of these theories are about astrophysics, but this is not the main idea. In this example, the main idea is why the first theory may be valid or not, and why the second theory may be valid or not. And that's why you can't tell at the beginning of a lecture what the main point of this lecture is. You have to wait until the end. Then you look back and you ask yourself, okay, what was the professor mainly talking about? What did he spend most time on? And then you know what the main idea of the lecture is. That's it. These are the two strategies that you can use to solve detailed questions and main idea questions in TOEFL listening. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or a video wish, tell me about that 
in the comments below. And if you want to get more tips for the TOEFL and download templates, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the next video. I love to see you here next time. Bye bye.